Good afternoon and welcome back to this week's show. And for the final part of the show, I'm delighted to be joined by the legendary Egyptologist, archaeologist, and one of the greatest explorers ever in the world, uh, the legendary Dr. Sahi Awas, all the way from Cairo in Egypt. Dr. Sahi, an absolute pleasure to talk to you this evening. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to talk to you. Uh, Dr. Sahi, a real monumental time in the last six months for Egypt, uh, two great discoveries and uh, also recently a massive discovery of epic proportions, uh, 50, 50 ancient coffins un un uncovered at Saqqara near Necropolis. How does this find in terms of Egypt released in the last 10 years? Is this one of the biggest finds? You know, I really believe this is a very important discovery because the discovery can be divided to two parts. The first part, you know, we are working near the pyramid of Titi. And Titi is the first king of dynasty six about 4,200 years ago. The next door to this pyramid, we discovered a pyramid of his queen. Okay. And we discovered the temple of the queen. Her name was Neet. Okay. Then we, we can add a name of a queen for the first time in history, because this wow. queen is not known before. Oh, wow. And we found, we found inside the temple uh, an obelisk, about one meter and a half. It could be the longest old kingdom obelisk to be discovered. Okay. And after that, we found about 57 shafts. Inside the shafts, we found coffins and mummies. Okay. In one shaft, we found 54 coffins. The coffins were beautifully decorated with scenes of gods and goddesses, also parts of a book called the Book of the Dead. It explained how the deceased will go safely to the afterlife. Okay. If you open the coffin, you'll find inside a mummy. Okay. We and around the coffins, we found actually uh, beautiful stealers with names of people. We found uh, games that the Egyptian played for the afterlife. One game called Senate. And Senate in hieroglyphic means to cross. If you cross, if you win the game, you'll go safely to the afterlife. And actually, we found also another game called the Game 20. And uh, we found also boats made of wood, okay. masks, shawaptis, foreign pottery, that the Egyptian brought oil from Syria, Palestine, and also from Crete and from Nubia. We actually, last week, we found artifacts and this is the first time that I revealed to you what we found. What we found that we did not announce yet, we found names of kings of the new kingdom. Wow. Totmod the first, Onaskara, Totmod the third, Amenhotep the second, and Tutan Khaamun. We found another shaft 30 meters down, three zero meters down okay inside the shaft a big sealed sarcophagus that i'm going to open on monday wow do you think that might be a pharaoh no it should be we think that this is the son of the king oh son of teti yes son of teti his name is teti anch kim because we just we found the name teti anch written on the sarcophagus we are going to open this sarcophagus on Monday, it's made of granite. Mm. This is why the son of the king could afford to have a granite sarcophagus. And Dr. Sahi, did the discovery, uh, were you looking in that area for a long time or was it a fortune or, or in terms no, of- No, no, I have been, I, I was working in this area uh, in 2008 and nine and 10. I stopped in 2011 because the trouble that Egypt had mm. in 2011. And I found, I rediscovered the pyramid of Queen Khwit. I found the tomb of his son, 
Tete Anchikem, but I did not find the shaft of the burial. Now we found the shaft of the burial. Then this is really completing the work that I stopped in 2010. Okay. And the Egyptian team, I have people who study pottery and draw pottery, I have people who study bones and make x-rays of the mummies. I have people who read hieroglyphic. It's really a big Egyptian team that they trained them on the excavation techniques. Okay. And Dr. Zahi, uh, Saqqara, it's got some relevance in terms of Egypt. It was once the ancient capital of Memphis, uh, Memphis, which was an important city in terms of Egypt's uh, sort of uh, culture uh, through its sort of dynasties. And this is really the new kingdom period of Egypt, isn't it? That's exactly. This excavation is rewriting the history of Saqqara in the new kingdom. Okay. Because we found all the coffins and the mummies that we found are dated to the new kingdom, except the pyramid and the, the temple of the queen, Queen Neat. We, Titi, never mentioned this queen before. Okay. This is the first time that we discovered her name. And therefore, I always say that we found a Saqqara only 30% of the Egyptian monuments. Still, there is 70% is buried underneath the ground buried underneath the ground. And uh, Dr. Sahi, you mentioned there about the discovery and the, the excavation. And uh, you seem to me that talking to you that everything was in prestige or to order in terms of its pres preservation, in terms of the artifacts you found, the sarcophagus. Were you surprised to see how in good condition everything was? Yes, it was really a big surprise to found. In, in all the shafts, we found coffins and mummies in one shaft. 54 coffins, beautifully decorated. And this really a big surprise around the coffins. We found also a five meters papyri. Okay. Five meters. It is chapter 117 of the Book of the Dead. Wow. And that's really a major discovery. Yeah, and Dr. Sahi, uh, in terms of that, we know in November another Honduras intact sarcophagi was discovered dating back to 2,500 years to the problematic sort of period. So in yes. the space of a year, Egypt has probably made monumental discoveries in terms of the last 50 years. Well, you, you have to wait uh, around the end of March. Mm. I'm going to announce another major discovery that I found in Luxor because I'm excavating also on Luxor. Okay. And something big was found. I cannot tell you about it now okay. because we'll announce this end of March and you will hear about it and we can talk about it in your program. Cheers, Dr. Sai. And I suppose lastly, uh, in terms of Egyptology, uh, in terms of uh, ancient Egypt, I suppose the world that we have, the global pandemic, how excited are you to reveal these um, finds to the whole world you know, when everything comes back to normal and for people to, to immerse themselves in Egypt, ancient col co culture and see these discoveries for the first time with their own eyes? I really always be happy when I make major discoveries like this mm. and I make the thrill and the magic of ancient Egypt, because I spent all my life working and excavating around the pyramids of Egypt. And that discovery, it's really amazing. It came in an important time that the world are facing this COVID-19. And we hope that all these discoveries can bring tourism back to Egypt. Bring back tourism to Egypt. On that note, Dr. Sahi Hawass, an absolute pleasure to talk to you again, uh, my friend. Uh, talking to you about all the, your fabulous Thank work that you're doing there. And Thank you very uh, Dr. Much. Sahi, uh, I, hopefully we can speak again when we hear that discovery of about course. Luxor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you. You too.